Do you have a ton of spare Warhammer sprues lying around? Have you ever finished kitbashing an awesome new model from spare parts, only to realize that you don't have an extra base to put it on? Have you ever tried to fit six rippers into a single ripper swarm because they came free with the previous Termagant box you bought and Games Workshop only gave you a single extra base? If you answer yes to any of the previous questions, then this is the video for you because today I'm going to be showing you how to make free extra Warhammer bases from Spruce. Alright, let's do it. Let's go. You will need a pen knife or hobby knife, some snippers, some plastic glue, a marker, some double-sided tape, some sandpaper. Now, I'm using 150 grit, but you can use anywhere between about 100 to 200, it's all fine. And of course, a nice flat surface to stick your sandpaper to. Alright, let's get started. Grab a bit of sprue with some nice straight pieces. We'll be using one of my termagants, Jason Bourne, as a reference for the base size that we want to make. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Now, grab your snippers, and cut yourself a piece of sprue that is slightly bigger than the base size that you want to make. For easy reference, just make sure that after you cut the piece, it kind of sticks out from both sides when you put it underneath the base. Cut out more pieces that are roughly the same size. Don't worry too much about being too accurate, it doesn't really matter. Use your snippers to trim off any leftover bits on the sides or top of your sprues. We want to get them as straight as possible. Happy snipping! Now grab your pen knife or hobby knife and gently slice or scrape away any leftover bits that are still clinging to the sides. We want to get them as flat as possible. If you prefer, you can also lay your pieces down on a flat surface to stabilize them before cutting. Remember to always cut away from yourself because a penknife to the finger isn't the most fun thing in the world. When you're done with this step, you should have a pretty big pile of shavings. And pro tip, if you leave them around and your girlfriend steps on any of them, she won't be too pleased. So let's vacuum those up. Alright, time to start gluing these pieces together. The thing about most sprues is that they have sloping sides. So, if you were to take two of them and glue them side by side, they won't form a nice flat surface. So, what you actually want to do is take one sprue and turn it upside down, so that when you glue them together, they form a nice lovely flat surface for you. We're going to build this base from the center outwards. So take your first piece and place it face up. Then take your next two pieces and place them face down on either side of the first piece. Then, place your next two pieces face up. Continue this pattern, two face down, then two face up, until you've put down all your pieces side by side. Alright, let's check. So, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Wonderful. At this point, you'll realize that when we put all the pieces together, they are bigger than the base size that we want to make. If this is not the case for you, then go back and cut more sprue pieces. Alright, let's glue these things up. I'll be using plastic glue, which will melt the plastic together to form a very strong bond. Apply plastic glue liberally to your first piece. Then, put it down and join it together with the next piece. Repeat this for the remaining pieces. Don't be afraid to use a lot of plastic glue, because the more you put, the better a bond you're going to get. Once it's all glued up, apply some more plastic glue to any remaining cracks that you see. Yeah, I like using plastic glue. It's pretty good. Leave it to dry for about an hour. 
After an hour, flip it over and apply some more plastic glue to any remaining cracks you see on the bottom. Now leave it to dry overnight. When you come back in the morning, it should have all dried into one nice solid panel for us to use. Take your marker and draw a circle that's the same size as the base that you want to make. Now grab your snippers again and use them to roughly cut out the shape of your base. I really like saying the word snippers. I know there's like a proper word for it, but I prefer to say snippers. Once you're done, grab your pen knife or hobby knife and use it to gently trim away anything that lies outside the circle you drew. Remember to be safe and cut away from yourself. Don't get sent to the hospital, everyone. Alright, when you're done with this step, technically speaking, we have a base that's ready to go on the table, but I know that we can make it a little nicer. Cut out a piece of sandpaper and stick it to the top of your flat surface that you prepared using your double-sided tape. Now grab your base and use the sandpaper to sand down any rough edges that are still left on it. Woohoo! Sanding! Yay! Eventually, you'll reach a point where you look at your base and go, eh, that looks good enough. However, the top and the bottom are still all uneven. So, let's fix that with, that's right, more sanding. Hmm, looks good enough to me. Go ahead and rinse off your base in the sink to clean it. And just like that, we've made ourselves a free base completely from sprues. Let's compare it to Jason Bourne's base. And I'd say that's good enough for the tabletop. And speaking of which, let's spruce it up a little so that it's ready for my next game. Cut open a cheap tea bag. Add some white glue. Mix well. Then slop it all over your base. Leave it to dry overnight. And in the morning, your base should have a nice craggly earthy texture to it. Prime it. Paint it brown. Apply a black wash. Dry brush brown. Dry brush khaki. And there you go. All ready for me to put on one of my kit bashed models on it. I'll be putting on one of my spore mines that I built from spare gene stealer parts. And here he is in all his slimy glory, sitting on top of a base that we've made completely out of sprues. Pretty neat, huh? I'm pretty pleased myself. And here he is again with some of his spore mine pals who are also sitting on top of bases that I've made from sprues. If you look at Wily Coyote's base, you'll notice that I've added some cut up pieces of sprue that I painted silver to look like discarded pieces of metal. While if you look at Bomberman's base over here, you'll see that I've added some modeling grass for some pizzazz. I got some lovely free rippers when I bought my gene stealers as well, but obviously they didn't come with an extra base, thank you Games Workshop, so I made one out of sprues. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope the video was helpful, especially if you're a Xenos player. If you're a Space Marines player, then... Eh. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please consider liking and subscribing, and leave a comment down below. Did you like the sprue bases? You know, do you think it's a waste of my time? Uh, just let me know, I'm always curious to hear. Hope to see you all next time. Xenos for life!